Now, this is a little confusing sometimes to some people because they say, where did you get Q from? And the answer is, Q didn't come from anywhere. This is like saying, the color purple is real, and our conclusion could be the color purple is real, or the flying spaghetti monster is real. Well, that's a true statement, so we're, we're retaining truthhood, so we're fine. As long as you remain true, as long as you're still saying a true thing, you can go forward. So the next step is logical. So it is true that either this or this, if you add something, that may or may not be true. So it's not making too strong of a claim. So next we'll do the disjunction elimination. The disjunction elimination, disjunction E. It's a little bit stickier than the other one that we had. This one's actually going to have six lines for the rule. The rule's going to have six lines in it. So, here's our basic world of assumption. And we start up at the top with P or Q occurs. And wh what we want to do in this rule is get rid of that, get rid of the V. We want to know something about the universe and get rid of that V. So what we're going to do is we're going to assume one of our terms in this little side jiggy here. We're going to assume P. And we're going to show that R follows from it. R is a third term. It's a new term. That's true. Then, in a new little box, we're going to assume Q. So we assumed P. Now we're going to assume Q. And we show that R follows from that. Our third term also follows from that. Now, if it's something like this, Parliament remains in power or the Queen remains in power. Well, if Parliament remains in power, then the Muslims remain out of power. They, they have to go back to Riyadh or Jihad or whatever. They have to go back to that city in Saudi Arabia. Their Muslims are out. If Parliament remains in power, the Muslims are out. If the Queen remains in power, the Muslims are out. So, we can show that if both of these would lead to the Muslims being out, and our statement says that one of these is true, at least one of these is true, then we can show, carrying out our rule, we can get this term we've been looking for, R. Now, the disjunction elimination is kind of a weird strange rule, because you don't get the term inside of this assumption. In some ways, you can. That's complicated and that comes later. You get a third term that you prove by this term being, so you have to go through these two steps here. Now, later on, there are more powerful logical rules that we can use. But for now, that's the way that you eliminate a disjunction, is you prove a third term. The next rule we're going to do is the biconditional rule, which is like this, triple bar. And the biconditional introduction goes like this. Again, we have one of these five line, one of these longer proofs. And we sim simply show inside of two separate assumptions, P, and if P, then Q. If Q, P follows. And we can introduce our biconditional, carry out our rule right there, and we get P if and only if Q. Because anytime Q failed, P would have to fail, and anytime P failed, Q would have to fail. So either they both occur, they both fail. They're linked inexorably. And you prove that by showing both in two assumptions. And next is the biconditional elimination. Uh, this one's a pretty easy one. You have P if and only if Q. And you also have P, let's say. Or you could have Q. It doesn't matter. You get P or Q there on this line. Uh, and then you could get out of it Q. If you have P, then you can get Q by eliminating it. If you have Q on this line, let's say, we had Q, then we would get P by eliminating Q. 
So whichever it is, the elimination is just a one-step process. Okay, now we're going to a whole new class of rules. And you're literally not going to need these until chapter 7. So you're just going to put these on the board and gaze at them. And these will be motivation for you to keep going and learning all of the stuff that's presented. So we're going to do, these are the derivation derived De derivation, derivation rules of S D plus. Because remember before we said we're talking in a language of S D, sentential deduction. So now we're going to be do doing derivation rules of sentential deduction plus, which is like uh, on steroids or turbocharged or more powerful. So uh, modus tollens is the first one. Modus tollens. A Latin name meaning God knows what. Modus and then Tollens is just L L E N S. T O L L E N S. Modus Tollens, we're going to abbreviate that as M T, of course. Now, this is a pretty powerful rule. In our assumptions, we have a conditional. If P, then Q. And we also have. Q fails. And our result 